Good evening, everyone, and welcome to the 2020 ACFO Awards Ceremony. This is a very special annual event in which we recognize excellence in various facets of our profession. And while we are not currently able to gather in person to celebrate, it is important that we take time to reward those who make significant contributions to our collective purpose as language educators and help us to make meaningful advancements in our field. Before we begin, I would like to thank a few individuals for their outstanding leadership throughout the year. It is a pleasure for me to recognize the ACFL Board of Directors who work hard to ensure that our organization is representing the language profession and meeting the needs of our members. Likewise, I am grateful to the 2020 National Language Teacher of the Year, Rebecca Blowuth, for her tireless dedication to advocating for language programs across the country. And I join the state and regional organizations in congratulating once again each of our five amazing Teacher of the Year finalists for 2021. From the Northeast Conference on the Teaching of Foreign Languages, Megan Flinchbaugh, teacher of Spanish at Mannheim Central School District in Mannheim, Pennsylvania. Representing the Southern Conference on Language Teaching, Elena Kamenetsky, Japanese educator at Eastern High School in Louisville, Kentucky. Representing the Southwest Conference on Language Teaching, Amy Murray, teacher of Spanish at Spring Valley High School in Las Vegas, Nevada. From the Central States Conference on the Teaching of Foreign Languages, Eric Richards, German educator at Fort Zumwalt High School in O'Fallon, Missouri. And representing the Pacific Northwest Council for Languages, Carla Swick, teacher of Japanese at Palmer High School in Palmer, Alaska. Of course, I would also like to recognize ACTFL President Bridget Yaden for her focused and steadfast efforts to navigate an unprecedented year. She was at our helm with empathy and insight at every turn. When faced with the challenges of rapidly adjusting to the effects of a global pandemic, Bridget's expertise and dedication and strong leadership help ACTFL not only provide resources needed to support new ways of teaching and learning, but also began important conversations within our communities and beyond about social justice, equity, and inclusion. Bridget, we thank you for a year of incredible service, organizational progress, and collaboration. You are the right person at a very challenging time and we salute you for your incredible work. And now I invite you to join me in celebrating the achievements of the outstanding educators selected to be honored with awards this evening. I know you will be as impressed as the members of our selection committees were with the accomplishments and impact of all of tonight's recipients. We are indeed proud of all our award winners and I congratulate them on this recognition.